Oh, a Nismo 350Z with the Nismo wheels on it. It's very nice. And then a normal 350Z. Toyota Alphard. Yes, now we're talking of this one. I think it's a camper conversion or something similar. In a very nice two-tone color. Is it actually a, yes, I think it is a camper. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but that is a table there. This must be the V6, surely, because I don't think the 2.4 could haul all of that, but, uh, I mean, even though I, I'm not big into camping, if I were to get a camper van or do anything like that, I think I would get myself an Alphard, because I do really, really quite like these. It's even got leather. Oh yes. <laughs> well, this was unexpected. Couldn't touch on the Mueva. I think the first time I've ever seen one of these in person. Oh yeah, and some Kunu taking the back. I mean, no one cares about that. Ferrari, I have no idea. Aren't it on a postcard, please? Also, look at the crowd that's gathered. Hopefully, this doesn't pick up the copyrighted music. How many car brushes do you want? Yes. Six women. We have a caterer in red. Yeah, please, yeah. We're just trying to get everyone's nose, but it melts a little bit further than the Audi so you can get out nicely, okay? Thank you very much. I mean, I'm not sure Henry Ford signed off on, on the Mondeo ST estate. I think that was a bit after his time, but uh, still. Now, my triumph knowledge isn't very good, but this says Vitesse on it rather than Hevold, so I think this has the straight six, but I could be wrong. It could just be a later sort of Hevold four cylinder one, but I think it has got the straight six in it, this. So, I mean, if I'm able to see this thing leaving, then that will probably tell me, but it'll probably sound quite nice if it does, though. Mmm, wood. Suzuki Cappuccino, here we go. Oh yes. Yes. I'll take a closer look at that when it's parked up. So now we can see the boot space of the Cappuccino. And of course the owner is taking the roof off. Amazing <laughs> <laughs> content here. Well, this one I think is pretty original. It's even got the original steering wheel in it. And the original exhaust. So we're now on the Starf Illustrate, and this is kind of the public car parking, or presumably the cars they deem not interesting enough to be in the show, which, which is a bit of a shame because there's still some quite interesting cars here, like this Jag. Let's have a look down and see what we can find. Uh, Mark 2 MX-5 there. Is, is Green. An ABS sensor. And uh, i30N, which I.e. is one of, the, uh, one of the few modern hot hatches I can tolerate. So, I tell you, yes, it is an FN2. FN2 Type R. Ah, the Renault Wind, which I mean is uh, suitable because it is this is definitely quite a windy day today, so he has brought the right car all day, I don't know. Of course, with a tent box on it, so I mean, I don't know if he camped here last night, but he's definitely got, he's definitely tenting at some point. Uh, oh yeah, I got a little crunchy gear change. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, Volvo. Oh, beige leather, look at that. That is a nice colour combination, blue and or more sort of like a tan leather. That's lovely. Massive. Big box. Very nice. We have got oh 
we have is Toyota Starlet of the previous generation to the one that Michael Sayer was based on. J Reg, uh, a 91. Oh, seats. Lovely 90 seat patterns. I like that. I do like that. It's a shame that you can park next to next to my uh, my Paseo. What else have we got down here? Well, we've got the camper van and stuff. I'll come onto those in a bit down there. But first, check out the colour on the Beamer. It's almost like a, a fluorescent sort of TVR Tuscan colour. The the fluorescent sort of purple and blue. That is that is a lovely colour. Down, down the other end of the start finish straight, we have this sporty Clio, a 182, I think, or it has the 182 front end. Could be a 170, I don't know. Octavia VRS. I don't know if that's a diesel or petrol, though. What else have we got? Oh, no, five, ah, Master 3 MPS. You don't see too many of these, and these are quite the sleeper, or less so this generation. Oh, hang on. I think there is something going on over there. Right. Tart it up and then kick off uh, Matwood, which was last August and we had a really great time. Uh, so here we are again for the, for the second year running. We'll do it again next year. We'll be back bigger and stronger. Uh, but I thought it'd be a really cool opportunity, firstly, to say a massive thank you to Goodwood for again giving us the day. So yeah, round of applause for Goodwood. Thank you very much, guys. For everyone being here, helping all the marshals, all of my friends, Gareth, Chris, Taylor, Rory being on the door, Colin from Bearded Explorer as well, and his friends doing all the marshalling up there, doing all the tickets. Um, while I remember, and my friend Chris as well, while I remember, um, this is obviously a big charity drive for Matt's chosen charity that he'll talk to you about in a minute. We also have some stickers, so over there, uh, if you can see me pointing, I'm quite sure, but if you have a look over there, my friend Chris is selling uh, Matt Wood and Auto Alex stickers, uh, all the money will go to the chosen charity. It's like six quid for two stickers. So yeah, queue up, you can pay with card or cash, whatever. Uh, but I thought it'd be really cool to... Bought an MGB GT, a 1972 one. Had that for a bit of summer, managed to sell it for a bit more money. I then bought another car, which is the Porsche that's over there. Um, I then bought another car, <laughs> which was... A Range Rover Vogue, which I've all, another car that I've always wanted, but the 944 was a dream car for me. Um, most people probably would not think that as a dream car, but for me it was. Um, and so Quite a nice panoramic view you get over the start finish straight here up on the, uh, the spectator area, so we can take a, a higher up view of some of the cars that are there. Down there we've got Miles the High Mileage Hero, the Skoda Octavia, who's Probably on about, what, 500,000 miles by now? Have a convertible Beamer. Oh, Rover 200. <laughs> With his bonnet open. Hardly displaying a K-series engine. I'm not gonna make the joke. It, it's probably fine. <laughs> Down there, just to the right of the van, we've got my Paseo. I wonder, do those people like it? Do they look at it? We will have to wait and see. I may have to do voice over here because of the copyrighted music. I think I have got a little bit of a cold today, but check out the Semex 5. Whoa. Look at the livery on this. Oh. A very blue theme there, which of course I like. Just scoot through here. After two months of driving, so it's nice. It doesn't drink oil like the Nissan does. Yeah, it's actually twin turbos, so you've got oh, wow, two of them yeah. front mount, front mount turbos, yeah. two of them. 
getting all that airflow into yeah. it. Well, it's still warm as well. I know, I'm surprised. Oh, it's still warm. I ride my cook a salmon on it. That's weight saving, but yeah. it's in, in the process of weight saving weight. The same with my arches that I'm rubbing against. <laughs> So this Mini has probably the most crammed in engine, like, or the, the most filled engine bay I think I have ever seen on a car. Like, look how tightly packed that is. Look, uh, on some cars you can see through to the road. On this, I don't think I can see through to the road anywhere. I think this is an A-series. It's obviously got an aftermarket carb on it, I imagine, but... I mean, the, the bonnet probably just clears the, uh, the alternator there up front. I mean, I I approve of the spotlights, although though this is a P-Reg, so by that point I thought they had fuel injection, but maybe this has had a different engine stop, I don't know. Actually, no, I think this is an earlier Mini, maybe with just a P-plate on it. I don't know. Still. 105. 105. 105. 105. 110, anyone? Anyone? 110 pounds. You know, we should actually do this on behalf of Goodwood every week. Yeah, I'll just sell their yeah. stuff. Why not? Yeah. We're just right. Who wants this shed? Can we? Yeah. <laughs> Give me 115 pounds. Come Anyone? on. Anyone? 115. 115. There was a hand going up there. 120. 120. 125. 125. 125. There we go. 30. Anyone in the room? Anyone in the room? 30 pounds. Anyone in the room? 130 pounds. 135 pounds in the room. Have we got 135 pounds in the room? 135 pounds. 140 quid. Anyone? 140 pounds. 145. 145, 150 quid.